Hello, fellow humans. I was just pondering reaching out to an old friend. Somebody who I actually, well, we won't get into how I originally met this person. But our lives went in two very completely different directions. They stayed within a church, and I didn't. I went to be secular, to try and blend in with the world no matter how much I knew it was going south very badly. I chose to shrug my shoulders like a lot of our generations say, what can I do about it? I'm just going to try and live my life. Well, that didn't go very well for me. And the thing is, is I left the church for a lot of good reasons that I still stand by. Mostly in that Jesus completely been misrepresented. The fact of the matter is, and Jesus would tell you this himself, systems are means of control in us, en masse, right? But if we just each individually, instead of looking to that system for our guidance, just follow the two commandments he told us to follow. The new commandments. Love God and serve God with all your heart. Your life is dedicated to good orderly direction. If that's your intent, is to be a positive force in all of the everything, and you love and worship that everything as opposed to just yourself, which is what we do, we're distracted by the systems that say, oh, we're going to take care of you each individually. If we all just worked for the greater good and with that as our primary purpose, we'd all be okay because we'd all be taking care of one another, which is the second commandment. There are two new commandments from Jesus. Love God with all your heart. Live for God. And love your neighbor like yourself. Each and every one of us should treat each and every one of us the way we would want to be treated. And if we all just did that, these systems wouldn't control us. They wouldn't need to guide us. We would be doing the things that we need to do for one another to survive without it. I want to free Yeshua, Jesus, from the bondage of Christianity. I will say that if you have to have a system of control, and I know that it went awry, but honestly, our civilization is completely built off of the systems and structures that utilized the value system that came essentially from those two commandments. Now, were they always benevolently applied? No, obviously not. We are where we are. But that's because it became about the religions and everybody forgot about the word, about the way, about Jesus, about Yeshua, and about what he taught. And it wasn't to just say, Lord, Lord, and do nothing that he said. It was to follow the way. And that is all the way up onto the cross if you have to. He didn't die for us. We have to die. He died so that we could be forgiven for our failings. Because we are imperfect and that's... Bottom line, we have to remember we are not perfect beings. We went really wrong with that one. We are connected to perfection. We are part of it, but we are not whole in and of ourselves. In and of ourselves, we are ecosystems. We are not individual beings. We are universes. That's what it means to be created in the image of the creator. We forget that. We don't have to be Christian, although believing in Jesus, Yeshua, however you want to call 
Christ consciousness that comes down to following those two commandments. Love God and work for God. Do your things for God. Good orderly direction. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you have to judge because us humans do that, judge yourself by the same standards. If not higher, extend the compassions you would expect or you do expect. Extend them to the other people rather than just expecting other people to extend them to you. That's all we need to do. That's all we really need to do. Pick up a Bible. Read it. It's a manual for the human condition. The thing that we lost when we lost this religion was the acknowledgement of our failings and our propensity to do the wrong thing. Because we have a propensity to do the wrong thing for our own gratification. To forget about good orderly direction. Forget about the greater good. <laughs> COVID really annoyed me because I had for years and years and years been going, does anybody anybody care about the greater good anymore and nobody would respond and then all of a sudden everybody's about the greater good for a second well that that's died really fast too guys we have to look in the mirror individual consumers it is our lifestyles that are the problem it's how they drag us around by our amygdalas they usurp our prefrontal cortexes and incite reactions in us all. They've given us all mental health issues so that they can medicate us and make money. Perhaps. It's a way to look at it anyway. Businesses have to be going concerns and with that I am going to go and continue to be concerned with love and try to create things that will help convey that love no matter how tough it might seem thanks for listening narrative bullshit it's propaganda